Welcome to week number three for Sharon. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is our six week course where our slimmers are going to lose a stone in six weeks. Hi, Sharon. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, not too bad. Yeah, a bit up and down. What's the news on the scales? Uh, it did go up a bit, but it's coming back down again. <laughs> Um, so week I on did week go for a meal yeah as it goes it, up I hit it a bit harder and get it coming down again okay so we've probably stayed the same have we then this week uh, yeah I've lost about two kilos altogether okay um, great. yeah so what's been the challenges this week I just think with my shifts all changing, it's been hard for me to adjust um, and rearrange my time. So I've got a lot of free time in the day now. I need to maximise yeah. that and get myself to the gym. So I've realised where I'm failing miserably and uh, that's what I need to do. But I've got my Fitbit and I've been doing my 10,000 steps. So at least that's motivating me because with the jobs I do, I'm easily doing the 10,000 steps but I really have got to build more exercise in. But like I say, because of the change of shifts, it's taken a while to get my head around it all. And then eating late at night, I've got to try and knock that on the head because I finish quite late most evenings, um, like tonight. So I'll be finished about 11 tonight. Uh, I need to take something with me just to nibble on and yeah, rather than coming in and eating my tea. Yeah, so that's 100%. Eating late at night just affects your sleep so much. So it's really important to try and get and almost have a real your main meal before you go to work. And then obviously just take snacks with you if yeah, you can. Yeah, I think so. How long is your yeah, break? Yeah, that's work? what I'm going to do. Uh, non existent. Okay. Right. Definitely <laughs> okay, have well. a big, definitely have a big meal then before you go into work. Yeah. Oh, well. And have you been sleeping? Yeah, it's just readjusting now. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, now I've said I've been, I've been sleeping really well. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's better. Yeah. Right, so let's have a little look through your food diary then. So this morning we've had a banana and a couple of satsumas. Yeah. Was that for breakfast? Uh, yeah, that's, that's for breakfast because I start at half seven on that particular day. That's all I can have really at that time. Just something quick and easy. Um, so but the, the Weetabix, the Weetabix I normally have, it's really high in calories, my breakfast. The Weetabix, the milk and the big banana, I've realized that's quite high. The problem is with just having fruit though, is it's just carbohydrates. So it's sending your blood sugar up and then eventually yeah. it will just crash back down you're just oh, having yeah. pure sugar for breakfast so this is not a good yeah. start for the day no so we definitely oh. need to get some protein in first thing yeah like scrambled eggs or something like that or even just having yeah. some yogurt with the fruit oh that'd be quick and easy to do so yeah. that was, well hopefully that'll be less time than uh, you know just have one piece of fruit and some yogurt yeah, some frozen berries. What yogurt yeah. then? So like a Greek yogurt or something with no sugar in it. Because I'm trying to avoid the sugar, but I'm obviously eating more sugar. So I'm eating the. Well, you better to have natural yogurt, full fat natural yogurt, and have the berries in it because they've got the least sugar. Right, our connection seems to have disappeared let's see if we can get Sharon back yes we're back yeah, yeah. I've come inside it froze great <laughs> so yes let's have a look through the other days um yesterday was your Weetabix with the banana uh, for lunch was sweet potato bhaji with rice. Oh, yeah, that was from Aldi, yeah. 
Right. So again, the issue with that, there's not really much protein in there as well. So again, you yeah. you just your body will just be on a sugar roller coaster all day, which is why you'll be hungry in the evening. Yeah. Um, and then in the evening, you did have some chicken wings, which again have got protein in, which is good. Uh, but then you have had pasta with it and the um, vegetable. Yeah, that was lovely. So the yeah. more you can try and reduce the pasta and the bread intake generally, the better. So, again, just having the chicken wings with the ratatouille would have been the best option. Yeah. Do you fancy that or not? Yeah, yeah, I do. I've just fancied a little bit of pasta, though. Yeah. Um, but obviously, I'll just have more of that and just a tiny bit of that or none of it. And Next just time. try to up your up your protein as well. So feel free to have lots of chicken. You know, that's kind of an unlimited amount of food that you can have. And then just really up the vegetables as well. Yeah, I will do that, yeah. Right. That's mm -hmm. it, yeah. What I think I'm eating that's healthy, like the satsuma and the banana, isn't as good as what I think, is it? Yeah, I well, this is why it's initially important to track because you're going for the low calorie things, which is good. But now we just need to switch it up a little bit and make sure the calories that you are eating are nutritious. OK, yeah, I'll do that. Um, on Monday, we had banana with malted wheat. Um, and again, just bear in mind that cereals with fruit is, again, a, a carbohydrate and a carbohydrate together. So it's a bit like a sugar bomb first thing in the morning, okay. which, again, is going to send you on a sugar roller coaster. Yeah. Um, for lunch was tuna, which is fab. And you yeah. have tuna salad with cheese, with uh, Greek feta cheese. So that was a perfect lunch on Monday. Mm. Uh, I'm very nice. Saturday, we have some rice cakes in the morning. Uh, for lunch was bang bang chicken. Was that nice? I've never had that yeah, one. Yeah, that's quite nice. It was only because I was going to the cinema. So I picked that up from Aldi and it was With like 200. Something. Yeah, chuck them on the top. <laughs> Fab. You see, that's perfect. Protein oh. and protein. That's good. Mm. Um, and then some salt and vinegar rice cakes. Which are my favorite, yeah. Darren. I love those. Oh yeah, they're good. Uh, Thursday. Thursday was a full English breakfast. It looks like. What was it? Well, was that? I remember that out? top back. Oh, I wouldn't have cooked it. I don't think. No, it must have been out. <laughs> oh, it's IKEA. That's right. Oh, was it was. IKEA. Yeah. yeah. So when you're eating breakfast out, if you can, if it's a once a week treat, then it's fine. But if you want to do it regularly, just try and swap the toast and the um, things like the beans and hash browns, stuff like that. Swap them for either more bacon, more sausage, more eggs, uh, more tomatoes, more mushrooms. So again, just yeah. trying to get the nutrients in. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's have a look for Wednesday. Banana for breakfast. Bagel with smoked salmon and cream cheese for lunch, which is perfect. Two portions of protein from that. And then in the evening, you had chicken with uh, bean sprouts, potato wedges. And then in the snack section is some strawberries and some olives. Mm. You like olives? I love olives, yeah. Absolutely olives are love them. a perfect snack, by the way. Yeah. So if you can yeah, take olives, olives regularly to work, because they've got unsaturated fat in, it will make you feel full um, and also um, just great for general health as well. Oh, good. Great. That's a bonus. <laughs> so there we go. So the, the further we went into the food diary, the better the week got. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I'll just remember protein, just lots yeah. of protein. And not that breakfast on the head. Go for the yogurt, frozen berries. Um, I do have a half 10 break on that particular job. So by the time um, half 10 comes, I'll be ready for that. Yeah. So I can't eat before I go. I have to leave the house at seven. Yeah. So. Oh, no, don't worry about that. Hmm. So, yeah, when you're doing the morning shift, go for the 1030, whatever you can take. Yeah. With you. Fab. Yeah. So uh, what is the plan for this coming week? 
uh, this week, get to the gym more or at least go for a walk more. Um, I've sort of readjusted to these new hours um, and I've got to maximise the time in the day to do something for me rather than anything else. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the way forward, I think. Yeah. So how, Keep many pounds, how many pounds do we want to lose by next week? Oh, I would say three. Yes. Yeah, three. So we definitely need to lose three the next couple of weeks to get you back on track. And as definitely. I said, the secret to doing this is just to really lower down your carbohydrate intake, uh, get rid of all the pasta, get rid of all the bread and just really focus on the protein and the vegetables. And I promise you a couple of weeks of that and you'll be back up to doing your half a stone or more like the rest of them. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. That's that what sound I need okay. To do. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Fabulous. Are you coming to Aqua on Monday? Uh, what am I doing Monday? Yeah, I think I will be actually. Yeah. Wonderful. Yes, I'll be there. Right. I'm going tomorrow as well, but it's um, Ali tomorrow, I think. Yes, Ali at 10.30 yeah. tomorrow. I'll be going there tomorrow. But yeah, get your Aqua in tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm going to go early and go on the treadmill. I've decided. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Fab okay. Sharon, any other questions? Yeah. No, that's all. Thank you. Wonderful. Right. All right. So I'll, I'll see, see you on Monday. Monday. All right then. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye okay, for bye. now. Bye. bye.